All right, it's Sunday, May 1st. Uh, been needing to get out here and put honey supers on. I'm hearing a lot of reports of nectar coming in strong. Um, so I need to get these honey supers on. We was out here about two weeks ago, uh, middle of April, April 14th and 15th. Got everything ready. Most of them are ready for the flow. You got notes on top of the hive. It says that they're ready for the flow. So they should be built up enough now to, to put honey supers on and not have to worry about them swarming. Their bees are really busy. As you can see how many's coming and going. But they're bringing in nectar now, lots of pollen. So we're gonna check them and uh, put some supers on them. I'll probably go ahead and put two. The most honey I've ever made <clears throat> is in the second week of May. I made two supers. In one week, the second week of May, that's the most I've ever made at one time. So I'm gonna probably put two on these, depending on how they're doing. We'll see how strong they are. And I may go ahead and put two on. I'm gonna try to do it without smoking, but we'll see how it goes. Anytime you smoke them, it slows the bees down quite a bit. You can see how full that is. Just turn around here a little bit. Full that is on the top, so it's definitely ready. There's no. They're still pulling out a couple frames, but I, I might just go ahead and put one on this one because there's still I put some foundation on it to get it pulled out, so I'm gonna put one super on that. One. You can always tell if you've missed any honey flow because there'll be white wax at the top. If there was white wax at the top, then we missed some honey. We didn't get this on quick enough and we missed some honey, but there was none on top of that one. So I think we'll be in good shape. If I have one, we'll just put HS for a honey super. And we'll watch that one when that one gets eight frames full. It's a uh, foundation in the honey super too. So when it gets eight frames full, we'll put another honey super on there. This one wasn't doing too hot. I said it might have to replace the queen, but apparently they've had some brood hatch out. They do have a little bit of white wax on the top. So we'll add a honey super to them too. They've got some drawn comb to put on top of them. There's some white wax there. A little bit of white wax on top. That's about where I want them. Looking good. Have my spacer for airflow. Really technical piece of equipment right here. All right, this next one was doing really good. We're gonna back up the bees on this one because they're right in front of it. Pop 
We give them some combs to draw out too, and they've got them pretty well drawn. You can see down in there. And we'll give them a honey super too. This is my old queen, but one of my best queens I've ever had. And she is really too old. She's at least two years old. But she's still doing good, but this will probably be her last year. I'll graft off of her. Again, I got some foundation that they've drawn out on both sides, those white frames. But they're ready for a super. This one, 415 pound white queen, ready for the flow. So this should be ready for one too. I always used to, uh, dad and I used to keep hives. Still ain't real heavy. Dad and I used to keep hives and we kept them about the same, except for he didn't get in them all the time and I did. And I realized when he made more honey than me that I was getting in them too much. Once, once you get them up and ready for the flow when they're like this, I never get down. Unless there's a problem, I never get down in those brood uh, chambers at all. Uh, if they're doing this good and got that many bees in the top, ready for a super, I try not to smoke them like we're doing today and uh, just let them go. Um, and you know, everybody says check them once every week, check them every 10 days, check them every two weeks. Well, that's fine when they're building up, but when they're starting to make honey, leave them alone. We get in there too much and we slow down their honey production and get another super. These hives are exactly where I want them. I feel like they're, I've walked the line between um, them swarming and me making honey.
but that's a lot of guys added uh, supers a couple weeks ago but i worry that they'll swarm adding uh if they were strong enough to add honey supers two weeks ago you can put a honey super on there and sometimes they'll make some honey fill a super maybe a couple up but they'll still swarm i don't want my bees swarming that up a little bit where they want to be leaning back so much. This one here was doing pretty slow. Ready for flow, eight frames in the bottom, four in the top, no brood in the top yet. They had four frames in the top, but no brood on 4.15, so we can see what they got now. And they filled it out nicely. And they're not happy. Give them a draw on super. Got a ant biting me. Okay, they got a drone super. They, all that brood is hatched out that was in the bottom and they moved up top and they got brood up there. So a lot of people will date back from the, try to date back. Uh, to have the brood hatch out during a funny honey flow funny flow um i just had try to have them ready uh i quit messing with them by the 15th of april usually they got enough bees they can start making honey around the first of may there's no white wax in the top of any of these if there was i'd be putting a couple honey sippers on instead of this one but we'll see how We'll check them next week and see if they've got these full or not. And you're always comparing one hive to another. So you can see how they're doing. 414, eight frames in a body, bottom added second high body, ready for flow. So I added the second high body on the 14th of April. Drawed all that out yet? They still got lots to draw. So I'm gonna let them be for a little bit. This one's number seven. Queen is in nuke number 102. So the queen got taken out of this one. So I know this one won't be ready. Whoa, you back here. I knocked you over. So they're trying to get a queen mated. They're doing pretty good, but they got a ways to go.
just made a note on there that there's four frames in the top of those. So next week I can tell how much they expanded, if they've expanded any. These nukes are making queens. I won't check them again. Like that one there. 426 split with sales from number 120. Or from number seven. This is number 120. Um, so I'll give them a chance to uh, for that queen to get bred. And then I'll come back in here and check for eggs. This is the last one on this stand. These started out really slow, but they took off and started doing pretty good. 415 looks good. Added number 62 on the top, so I combined another hive with them, number 62. They could use a little more time. I'm gonna smoke them and take that feeder out, I think. didn't take this feeder out they'd be filling it up with bird home and I don't want that they are making a pretty good crop of honey and these outside frames really light Really light, honey. Looks great. Tastes pretty good too. All right, I'm gonna go up here and get a frame, oh, a deep frame and put in there. I might go ahead and put a honey super on that one too, but I'm gonna get some honey supers too, I'll be right back.